Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see the NFL's all-time passing leader, Drew Brees, and the New Orleans Saints as they'll square off against Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion as I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. I'm Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis, beyond thrilled to be bringing you the Super Bowl. All the pomp, all the circumstance, all the pageantry. It doesn't get any better than this, partner. I'm loving sharing this booth with you, sharing this moment, this type of a game. For all the teachers who said we'd never make it, we're here. <laughs> and we talk these last couple weeks about the buildup, the anticipation. I think these guys are just ready to get out there and get this thing started. And I know that both coaching staffs have spent considerable time trying to figure out how to best bring their team up to a peak without taking them over the edge and causing a lot of issues early in the game. And you don't think much of a pregame speech is needed for this one. I think the pregame speeches were the shortest all year. <laughs> if they didn't just say, let's go get them, guys, they probably talked too much. Super Bowl of a new decade. Super Bowl 54 is underway. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Patriots come out led by the four-time Super Bowl MVP and owner of a record six Super Bowl rings. Arguably the greatest to ever play the game, Tom Brady. And we keep asking the same questions every year. How much longer can he keep doing this? Is this the year the dynasty crumbles? And every year Brady comes out and leads his team to the Super Bowl. They've been there now three years in a row, and only one team has made it four. That's the Buffalo Bills. But remember, they lost all four in the early 90s. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Seven yards. The pickup on the pitch and catch. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Now the leading rusher for the Pats last year is a rookie, Sony Michelle. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. This is Michelle on the counter. And an alley to run. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits. And leads creases like they were able to split right there. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Cheryl's to return it. 
That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 13. From the gun, it's Breeze. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's good for 28 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And a look now at the offense for New Orleans. The steal in the 2017 NFL Draft had to be running back Alvin Kamara out of Tennessee, who ended up being that year's NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Split time with Mark Ingram his first two years in the league. With Mark Ingram now in Baltimore, it's his show. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Stephon Gilmore dials the corner blitz and earns the sack. No score after one on EA Sports. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down and long coming up. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze and the Saints up against it here. Shotgun now for Breeze. He's got a rifle on deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. A big play. Breeze finding Thomas. 44 yards for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Breeze leaves this one with Camaro. He's able to work three for about six down to the 18. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How about the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Will Lutz on for the point after. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Now this offense about ready to take over again. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their 25-yard line. From the gun, it's Brady. He completes it right side to White. 
And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Man, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Here's Ryan Allen now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially given 15, and the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Drew Brees getting ready to go again on offense. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. A reminder, coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman of the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. His 13th NFL season now, Ted Ginn, still a reliable target for Drew Brees. 787 yards in 2017, just five games last year due to injuries but he still has the wheels. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback, but when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this will get inside the 20 and be touched down just outside of the 15-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up the first down and change our momentum? And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Brady now on first down. A good pick up there, a 22. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. To throw again on second down. Brady to the right side, and he's got Edelman. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing his Brady on third down. And he's taken down here by the Saints. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Here's Ryan Allen now as he's on to punt for New England. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Here's Breeze. And oh, he crossed. And Breeze is going to go down in the end zone. A safety. 
And Charles, at some point, you can't keep worrying about big play. Can this be perfect? You just have to get the ball out of the end zone. And in the offensive huddle, that was discussed when they called the play. Just get out of the end zone. But you know what's interesting? A lot of the times in the defensive huddle, they actually call a set and then say at the end of it, get a safety. So it's preached, it's coached, it's thought about. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. This will be fielded at the 17. The clock showing just 16 seconds till the half as they line up first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he's got Edelman on the out route. That's complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Now Brady. He hits his target, left side, Watson. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl, as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight, as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Well, the halftime show, quite a spectacle, but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's see if they do just that. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And when the defense wins and gets up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Well, Breeze throwing on second down. This will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with it. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. And now Edelman. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Patriots take over. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. Yeah, they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be second and 11. 
Another example right there of how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there at the line of scrimmage because they're dominating it. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step forward. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. But he will have a man, Demarius Thomas. That one goes for 24 yards. He's come a long way since his time at Georgia Tech. What did he run at Tech? He ran hitches and, and go routes, essentially. Yeah. I mean, but he ran them really well. He averaged well over 20 yards a catch while he was there. And he still creates downfield in the NFL. That big body and that willingness to go catch the football. He's pretty impressive. And his friends call him Bebe, the nickname his uncle gave him back in the day. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lift their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Brady now on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run out for the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This is taken at his four. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. 25 yards that time. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Offense. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Breeze now. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. To throw is Breeze. And he finds Cook. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 
Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up with that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Flushed out right. And complete right side to Cook. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Following the penalty, it's Kamara. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. We've had some wild Super Bowl finishes recently. 49 in Arizona, 51 in Houston. Now this one. And just one man in the backfield here. That's Kamara, second and goal. He's going to get it running right. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft. And they can really make a big He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow, wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, you could come back at you a long way. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. the Patriots now down 14 10 56 seconds to go a touchdown could win the Super Bowl as they've got a first down back to throw and they nearly get this all the way to midfield mark him down at the 49 fresh out of the locker room they hit him with a gain of over 20 might not be anyone that's run the two-minute drill bet. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. field comes New Orleans and three timeouts remaining here defensively but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over if they use the timeouts here it's strictly for show we got a plane to catch so first and 10 now from the 30 they begin on the ground with Camara he's brought down at the 34 call it a gain of four now the Patriots gonna use one of their timeouts 
as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. On second down, Kamara. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. The Saints on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And an alley to run. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Now Breeze. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. The veteran Jason McCourty there to make sure that one didn't find its target. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Breeze to throw. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. The Saints on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This is third and 10. He's gonna let this go. Back of the end zone. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's gonna bring up fourth down. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the bayou. The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs, you see the guys sharing, the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them, a fantastic season. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.